prime minister who is the prime minister what are the powers of the prime minister who appoints the prime minister what is the tenure of the prime minister what are the powers of the prime minister and council of ministers we will be discussing in this video so welcome to amska academy please consider subscription and support us prime minister prime minister is the head of the government and actual exercises all the government powers so the real head the real power is exercised by the prime minister who appoints the prime minister appointment of the prime minister there is no direct election to the post of prime minister nobody can contest directly for the post of prime minister in the in the our constitution in indian constitution the president appoints the leader of the majority party or the coalition of parties that commands a majority in lok sabha as prime minister means there is no direct appointment for prime minister nobody can contest directly for prime minister post it is the consideration is the leader of the majority party is only considered for prime minister position by the president in case no single party has acquired majority in lok sabha then they can call a group of parties can form together as coalition and suggest their leader as the candidate for prime ministership to the president only then if there are two coalitions then our president will have a little say to decide who will be the prime ministerial candidate so appointment of prime minister is not done through prime ministership it is done through the leader of the majority party will be chosen to be the prime minister collective responsibility for any decision or action of the cabinet the council of ministers is collectively responsible if any of the cabinet decision is not approved by the parliament if any of the cabinet decision is not approved by parliament the entire council of ministers have to resign why if any of the decision is not approved in the parliament the entire cabinet have to resign that is because cabinet is giving its approval to a bill which has to be discussed in parliament in lok sabha generally the ruling party members will be majority in the lok sabha so any bill that is brought to the table of the parliament by the cabinet will be approved if it is not getting approved it is a clear indication that the majority of the people in the lok sabha has fallen short to the ruling party which is like a no confidence motion and immediately the council of ministers prime minister has to resign because there is no support in the lok sabha as we discussed the leader of the majority party only will be appointed as the prime minister by the president so if your leadership is not supported by the majority members of lok sabha then there is no point you can be as a prime minister that's why they all resign tenure of the prime minister prime minister's tenure has a no fixed period means there is no fixed term he continues to remain in power as long as he remains the leader of a majority party or coalition he can be in power for a long period there is no fixed period like 3 years 4 years 6 years 5 years this 5 years he is the leader of the majority party he will be the prime minister next 5 years next group also has made him as the leader then he can continue to be the prime minister next 5 years next 5 years also. like this there is no fixed period only this much time they have to do so he can be in power as long as he enjoys the support of the majority in 
Lok Sabha. Till that period, we can be in power. Coming to the powers of the Prime Minister. What are the powers of the Prime Minister? Prime Minister has a wide ranging powers. Different powers. They are on the advice of the Prime Minister only. The President appoints all the other ministers and form the council or the cabinet. It is on the advice of the Prime Minister that all the other appointments of the ministries are made. So he recommends the names to the President. Prime Minister is free to choose ministers as long as they are the members of Parliament. The Prime Minister can choose any member of the Parliament from Lok Sabha or from Raj Sabha to be as the members of his cabinet or council of ministers. He chairs and takes most of the decisions in the cabinet meeting. If any cabinet meeting is conducted, he will be chairing that meeting. Means he will be the main person who will be taking care of the entire meeting process. He coordinates the work of different departments and his decisions are final in case of any disagreement arises between the departments. So if two or three departments are working together and if there is any disturbance between that or any disagreement between the departments, Prime Minister's decision is final and all the departments have to follow his decision. And coming to exercising of general supervision of different ministries and all ministers have to work under his leadership only. He is the main head of the entire government. Any ministry has to work under his leadership. In case if he is not impressed with the work of a ministry, he can immediately dismiss that particular minister. And when prime minister quits, the entire ministry has to quit. As I told you before, in a bill is passed by the Lok Sabha and if the bill recommended by the cabinet is not passed, Prime Minister has to resign along with Prime Minister. All the ministers also have to resign immediately. That's why Prime Minister is considered as the main and the real executive of the government. The real power lies in the hands of the Prime Minister only. Coming to the Council of Ministers. It is an official name of the body of that includes all the ministers. All the ministers together is called Council of Ministers. It usually ranges from 60 ministers to 80 ministers. How many ministers will be? It can be 60 to 80. Generally, according to the articles in the constitution, it can be up to 15% of the Lok Sabha membership. So 10% is 55 54 so roughly another 20 members so 60 to 80 members is a number of people with different ranks can be as council of ministers the council of ministers has collective responsibility and they all are usually top level leaders of the ruling party or parties who are in charges or who in take care of the major ministries. Generally, the senior most leaders only become the cabinet ministers and they meet and take decisions in the name of the council of ministers. There is cabinet that is the inner ring of the council of ministers and it comprises about 20 ministers. Finance, home, defense, like this, they have 20 key portfolios whose ministers form as the 20 ministers that is cabinet of inner ring. Cabinet is the inner ring of the council of ministers. Means the key portfolio ministers will be the cabinet ministers. And ministers of state with independent charge are usually in charge of smaller ministries. There are three different types of ministries. One is the minister then the deputy minister or minister of uh, state and then we'll have uh, assistants to the ministry so generally the main minister will have two assistants or ministers of state 
so if there is a small department small ministry then they will have a minister of state with independent charge he will be the whole and sole responsible for entire activities which are happening they participate in cabinet meetings only when specially invited so out of these 20 ministers there is any invitee who is coming it means that that particular ministry is invited specially for particular reason in that meeting then they will call them ministers of state are attached to and required to assist the cabinet minister as i told you cabinet ministers ministers of state and minister of state with independent charge like this three different categories of ministers are there in the council of ministers council of ministers generally consists of 60 to 80 ministries the key ministries or portfolios form the cabinet their number is around 20 ministers only on special invitation the ministers of state with independent charge can also attend the meetings of the cabinet if they are invited only on special invitation appointment of the council of ministers as we learned that appointment of the prime minister is done by the president and on the advice of the prime minister the president will appoint the council of ministers they are usually from their own party or coalition the majority in the lok sabha sometimes a person who is not a member of parliament can also become a minister but such a person should get elected to one of the houses either of parliament lok sabha or rajya sabha within 6 months of his appointment so once he is appointed in january if he is appointed by july he should be the member of either of the houses of the parliament within 6 months period of time and cabinet form of government what is cabinet form of government since it is not practical for all ministers all the 80 ministers to meet regularly and discuss everything every moment every issue the decisions are taken in the cabinet meeting so cabinet is like a small council set of council of ministers or the core members that is why parliamentary democracy is a most countries is often known as cabinet form of government the secretaries provide the necessary background of information to the ministers to take any decision and the cabinet as a team it is assisted by cabinet secretariat the cabinet council of ministers the key ministries form the cabinet and the cabinet is assisted by the cabinet ministers or cabinet secretaries as well and this includes many senior civil servants who try to coordinate the work of different ministries so that is the cabinet ministries and cabinet form of government is common in most of the democratic countries why it is common because in any democratic country it is practically not possible to call all the ministers sit and discuss every issue so they have a smaller group of ministers known as cabinet who can who hold the key portfolios the key ministries and they are assisted by cabinet secretariat which consists of senior civil servants so prime minister council of ministers and cabinet form of government the real power lies in the hands of the prime minister there is no fixed tenure for the term of prime minister he will be as prime minister as long as he commands the confidence of the majority members of the lok sabha that's all we have in this video stay tuned thank you